Hey there, my name is Prakash. I am the head of product of Xano. Today I'm going to show you a way to take your Xano API endpoint and have some of the data visualized in a front end tool called Retool. If you haven't heard of Retool before, it makes it really easy to plug in uh, external data sources and do anything that you want with it. You can like display it as tables, uh, you can create internal tools for your team, uh, or you can visualize the data in a graph or a chart, which is something that we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I want to start in Xano, and I want to show you a workspace that I've created. If I go to my database, I can see that I've created a content table. And in that content table, I've basically just put, for example, uh, a bunch of names, like let's just call it the names of employees, um, their gender, their age, where, which country they reside, and then their department, right? So I have just eight uh, fields over here and I want this represented in a graph. So the way that I'm gonna do this is first by getting the API, right? So if I go to my default API group, I can see I have this thing called get content, right? And that basically just goes, that's this API endpoint goes to the content database table and it returns all the content. So if I run and debug it, I can see that it's happening here. So how do I then get this into retool? Well, I'm gonna go to my retool dashboard and the first thing that I want to do in Retool is add a resource. And that resource is going to be that API endpoint. So I'm going to create a new resource. These are the ones that were installed with the product. I'm going to click Create New. And I want to do a REST API. Those are the things that Xano creates. And I'm going to name it. I'm just going to call this Xano Retool Content. Uh, and you can call this anything that you want. That's not important. What is important is this base URL. So the base URL, if you've watched some of our other explainer uh, videos, is within your API group, you have a base URL that basically is the root to all of these uh, API endpoints. So I can just copy this right over here and I can go ahead and uh, paste in the base URL. I don't need anything else and I can just click create resource. Now, now that the resource has been created, I can go back to all of the resources or I can create uh, an app. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create App. And I'll call this uh, Xano Retool Demo. And I'll click Create App. So now that I'm here, this is the Retool interface. And you can see already that the resource being used is the one that I just defined, the Xano Retool Content. But we want to get a little more specific. You can see that it's already got the base URL. Now it's asking for what endpoint I want to use. Well, if I go to Xano, I can see here are all my endpoints. And the one I want to use is this content one. So all I need to do is slash content because it already has the base URL. So I can just type in content, right? That's all I need to do. And if I click preview, if I uh, scroll down here, you can see it's getting all of the same information. Um, can I make this bigger? I think I should be able to. I'm getting all the same information that I would be getting if I ran and debugged this specific endpoint. So I'll go ahead and do that. You can see it's the same data that's coming through. Okay, so that is great. Um, and it's called Query1. That's what this resource is named. I can name it anything that I want, but I'll leave it as, uh, as is. And I'll click Save and Run. This basically stores it within Retool as uh, a resource data to use. So now um, on the right hand side, I have the inspector and I have the insert uh, module and I can choose the way I want this inserted. I could insert, for example, as I showed you before, or as I was talking about before, um, a table of the information, but we want to do a chart. So I'm going to drag in this chart over here and you can see that it's already um, displaying the data from my API endpoint. And if I go to my content database, you can see that here are the first names and you can see them lining up over here. I'm gonna make this chart a little bit bigger. Um, oh, I just made it smaller. I'll make it a little bit bigger so, you, so we can work with it. Okay, so um, it does its best to try to figure out um, what data you want mapped here, but we can actually edit this. So if I go back to, um, if I click on this, I can see in the inspector that I'm able to modify this a little bit. So on, I can modify the chart type, right? So if I wanted, for example, a pie chart, I could go ahead and represent the data that way, but I actually want it viewed as a bar chart. So let's say I wanted to change the data a little bit to see, for example, uh, the genders of people within a certain country, right? The country that they reside. Well, right now the x-axis is showing the first name. So instead I want 
that uh, I want it to show the country. So I can just go ahead and change it to country. And you can see if I mouse over, I can see all of these different values coming through. But it says ID 13, ID 5, 6, and 12. Well, the reason it has those numbers is because what it does is it takes this ID, and that basically is just like the number of these numbers, and it's summing them together. It sums uh, them by default. And just one thing to note, all of these, age, created at, and ID, Retool basically looks at all of the numerical values that it can um, display on the graph. So it, it took age, uh, it took um, created at, and uh, it also took, uh, oh, no, no, oh, no, no. so it, it took age, it, so it took age, it took create, so it took age, it took created at, and it took ID because they're all numerical. So if I go back to retool here, um, I can see that ID is selected. I want to change it from sum to actually count because I just want to count the number of values that are on there. And I'm going to change it from ID to count, right? Because I'm saying you can count all the unique values and represent it as count. And I've hidden created at an age, right? I could... Um, display them, but I want to hide them because I just want the count of those countries. Um, now remember, another thing that I said I wanted to do was I wanted to look at the different genders within each country. So if I select group by, I can select gender, for example. And now I can see when I hover over that um, in France, there are two females and one male. In the US, one and one. In Japan, just one female. And then Canada, I have one female and then one male. And I can easily do this thing called stack grouped data. And this will give me the total amount just represented as one stacked item. So in France, again, one male and one female. So this is just a very simple example of how you can take an API endpoint from Xano, right? So if I go to my API here, I took this content API endpoint and um, I then added it as a resource here in Retool and now I'm displaying the data as a graph. So this is a great way to visualize your data or start using data in uh, to build an internal tool or an internal front end if that's something that you want to do. Um, there's lots that you can do with this graph. You can uh, filter any sorts of data that you want. There's a lot that Retool allows you to do. So definitely play around and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you so much.